a 77 year old man. He's a pot pioneer named Dana Beal, busted for. Well, at 77, I'd agree. <laughs> yeah, he's an old hippie from the. In fact, he's he's been advocating for national weed, you know, uh, legalization. I think for mm-hmm. six decades, his bio says. Wow. Um, so he's I love no, that he was a teenager when this happened. Right, he's no stranger <laughs> to this. Yeah. Um, he got busted with 56 pounds of pot. In Idaho. That's so much. <laughs> it's so much. And I guess he, you know, lives in New York where it is legal, right? I think. Complete. Here's the map updated as of March 1st from DISA, which is a screening company. It's a weed legalization map. You'll notice that it's fully illegal in only four states now. Mm-hmm. Idaho, Wyoming, Kansas, and South Carolina. By the way, important disclaimer, this map is not legal advice or opinion. Ah. Okay. That's fair. Anyway, he, he was busted in Idaho, and now he's got sort of a new purpose in life because, mm-hmm. you know, if he gets convicted and sentenced, that's going to be a – it could be up to a 15-year sentence. Right. Which means – Well, and at 70, that's – At 77? Yeah. That means he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail or prison mm-hmm. unless he lives past the age of 92. <laughs> Which is a long time. Right. Long time. So, his, so, he, so he now has sort of a – some skin in the game, let's yeah, say. Yeah. And so he's going to try to advocate to get Idaho to legalize it. And all I have to say is good luck, buddy. Yeah. And I'm I not- mean, realistically, though, out of all the people that are going to do it, he might be the one. He might have a shot. You know? And, and I'm not going to get on a soapbox because really, I don't care. I'm not interested whether or not it becomes legalized in Idaho. Yeah, it doesn't really affect you or me. It doesn't. But it'll be interesting, won't mm-hmm. it? Well, okay, but we do kind of have some skin in the game, considering we are taxpayers. Like, that just seems like such a waste of resources. And especially at 77, like, he's going to have a lot of medical issues that are going to need to be addressed that are going to get paid on the taxpayer's dime, which I'm not necessarily opposed to, because I do want people to get the medical care that they need, but also... Okay, I was thinking you were going the other way, seeing how much money, like, say, Colorado was one of the first states to legalize Mm -hmm. it. What a surprise. (laughs) <laughs> right, right. Yeah, Birkenstock wearing hippies. <laughs> Kidding, love Colorado. But they um but they make a lot of money for mm-hmm. a lot of great things by taxing and I think heavily taxing mm-hmm. weed. Yeah, kind of like what we do with cigarettes. Right. You and know? lottery tickets. Yeah. And all that all the vices. Yeah. And honestly, I completely agree with it. It, realistically, like no one, well, actually that's not totally true. I was going to say no one needs weed, but there are actually people who medically do need marijuana. So Utah, medical marijuana. Right. Is well, legal. And that's the other thing too. Like it would save us so much money on pharmaceuticals. It would save people money on their medical care. Like there are so many times when weed would be so helpful for individuals and honestly us as a state. And realistically, yeah, if we could just tax the crap out of it, dude, maybe our schools wouldn't suck so bad. Like not, not to crap on Idaho schools because I know that there are lots of really great people. We're who not work in the there, top but... ten. No, we're not. Yeah, we're... I mean, teachers will tell you that. It's... Well, and not only that, but we are almost completely surrounded by fully legal states. Yeah, well, except for Utah, which is medical, right. and Wyoming, which is with us, fully yeah. illegal. Yeah. One of again four states. I believe it's still going to happen. And I believe it's going to happen soon. I also understand why the United States of America works. Right. You go somewhere that has the values that you want. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, federal law takes care of the general stuff. Right, right. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Dana says, what's his quote? My legal strategy now hinges on me helping to legalize marijuana in Idaho. Yeah, well... Mm -hmm. I do wish him good luck. Yeah. Because I I think that with the way things are now, to your point about it, we're surrounded by (laughs) heathens where (laughs) weed is legal. Um, I think that it would be a darn shame to see a guy spend the rest of his life in jail for something that's legal 100 miles that way. Well, and I mean, at this point, dude, like, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. He's 77. Are you really going to rehabilitate this guy? Yeah. It just seems a little... Pointless. Well, and my question is, this could be the dumbest question you've ever heard me ask on this show. Don't people who are just driving through where it's legal in their state and it's legal where they bought it, don't they get a pass? No, they don't because reasons, but... Okay, but like, because of reasons. But, but the re- Okay, but the question is, shouldn't they get a pass? Right. If you can legally prove that you don't reside in Idaho and you're just trying to get home... 
You know all those weird old laws that they put on the books just for fun? Like you can't right. shoot a deer from the back of a moving giraffe or something? Yeah, yeah. In Idaho? Yeah, or the one that you went to jail for. You can't cuss in front of women. Uh, if you yeah, missed but the, they really don't process how I it. ended up in jail mm-hmm. when I was 17 episode, you can go back and get the whole story, whatever. It's right. ridiculous. <laughs> it, and it was my mom in our own home mm-hmm. that I uh, I said fudge yeah. in front of. Only it wasn't fudge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the funniest part is I feel like out of all of the, like, really good cussers I know, they're all women. Uh, yeah. You know? You certainly uh, can – you're certainly right there on par, if not – If I need to string together some <laughs> profanity, I sure can.